from the National Public Radio, this is Book Talk. Hi, I'm Bennett Kelvin. One of the greatest British classics of all time, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, has added much value to the world of science fiction and to literature as a whole. Published in 1895, The Time Machine, to this day, is thought to be one of the forefathers of the science fiction genre. It also has several associations with the African literary standard, Things Fall Apart, for which this review is being conducted. In The Time Machine, the protagonist is known as the Time Traveler. His actual name is unknown. The Time Traveler creates a machine to travel through time with, as he shows his to party guests one night. A week later, he meets his guests from the week before and describes to them his experiences of time traveling from the previous days. The Time Traveler explains speeding off into the future to the year 802,701 AD. He finds lots of relatively small people living very simple and pleasant lives. He later finds that these people are the Eloi. But at night, ape-like creatures called the Morlocks come out, and as the Time Traveler soon finds out, takes selected Eloi to their underground labyrinths to feast on them. When the Time Traveler's machine goes missing, he presumes it is stolen by the Morlocks and stashed away in their hideout. He becomes frightened and wants to go back to the present. But he soon befriends one of the Eloi, Weena, after he rescues her, he presumes she's a girl, from drowning. The Time Traveler learns the language of the Eloi and the way of the world of 802,701 AD from Weena. He soon decides that he must break into the Morlock maze to find his machine and go home. As he is getting the necessary supplies to fight them off, for example matches, since they are afraid of light, the Morlocks find the Time Traveler and Weena one night, and a clash erupts between them. After hours of fighting, in which a forest fire arises, the Time Traveler finds that Weena is missing, and he rushes back to the White Sphinx, the Morlock hideout, to get the time machine and hopefully find Weena. He arrives at his time machine, and, just before the Morlocks can get him, escapes back to the present, leaving Weena in the world of 802,701 AD behind. Once the Time Traveler finishes Tale of Time Traveling, the guests leave in awe and disbelief. The next day he zips back into the future and is never heard of again. The Time Machine's author, H. G. Wells, lived a rich literary life. Born in 1866 in London, England, Wells published several versions of The Time Machine in the early 1890s before publishing the complete book in 1895. He went on to write numerous other novels, including The Island of Dr. Moreau in 1896, The Invisible Man in 1897, and The World of Worlds in 1898 before dying in 1946. The historical significance of probably his greatest accomplishment, The Time Machine, can be seen far and wide. As the first book ever written about time travel, it brought on an age of science fiction that would rock the literary world. Wells' writings of time travel and ideas of the future were new to the world and were the first of its kind, leading for an uproar of its style's writing. In terms of Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, the Time Machine can be seen with several connections. For one, the same book influenced both novel's authors, Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. Also, views of British society and ethics are seen in both The Time Machine and Things Fall Apart, where the English are seen as a curious, often savage, and overall imperialistic culture. A third relation to Things Fall Apart in The Time Machine occurs with the hero's journey. Both novels, along with myriad others, follow this journey step by step wherein the time traveler from the time machine and Okonkwo from Things Fall Apart, both protagonists, are each taken out of their normal lives and placed into entirely different cultures, learning lessons of value and morality along the way. The Time Machine is a world-renowned classic that has supplemented a great extent of importance to writing as a whole. The suspense-driven sci-fi novel can easily be seen as author H.G. Wells' most utmost triumph for Britain and the rest of the globe. It relates to the current African novel, Things Fall Apart, by Chinua Achebe, in numerous aspects, and I would surely recommend The Time Machine to anyone who enjoys science fiction or any classic literature in general. From NPR, this is Bennett Kelpman.